Kanye West has been in the news a lot lately with his anti-Semitic comments, him losing a lot of his endorsements and partnerships with different companies like Adidas and Gap and so on and so on. But a lot of times when Kanye talks, for me, it's like Charlie Brown's teacher. It's like, wonk, 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 wonk. But then I was listening to him just ranting about something. And then I was like, wait, 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 back up. Did he just say what I think he just said? That his mother had been sacrificed? Listen to what he says. And shout out to the uh, shade room because this is where I got this from. And I'll come back. They can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Not not you, man. But they can't control me. You see, it ain't no name I won't name. It's up. Not you. You know what I'm saying? And just for Minister Farrakhan, I love you. But the way you read that, I took that as a slight. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking no disrespect from nobody. So let's get on the phone. Let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slice from nobody, right? I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, appreciate you. Michael Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God loved me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, right? Had to write net worth 400 million. Jesus is king. God loved me. That's more important than thinking in life. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat mills, y'all puffies, y'all little boozy, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. That's scary. They can't control you. They- to hear Kanye say that his mom was sacrifice, it sent chills down my spine. Because I used to always hear about these sacrifices and all that, but I just looked at them as conspiracy theories and just people talking mess about Hollywood and stuff. But it just gives me the creeps to hear him say that. And then he talks about Bill Cosby's son, and we all remember when he lost his son, and we really don't know what happened to him. And then Michael Jordan's father, we really don't know what happened to him. We really don't know. And so for Kanye to just kind of throw these names out, it kind of give you room for thought about all this sacrifice and all these conspiracy theories going around. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think that there's some truth to this about Kanye's mom being sacrificed and then the things that he said about Bill Cosby's son and Michael Jordan's father and just all this Hollywood stuff and the way he's name dropping and how he says he's free to be able to drop all these names and nothing will happen to him. How do you guys feel about all of this? Do you think there's some truth to this? Um, Please don't forget to subscribe. Then that way we can continue to have these conversations. But again, this is just me and I'm talking pop culture. And I'll see you guys on the next one.